Okay, so I'm excited to be giving you guys this review today. This is the Slingshot Burner. This is one of three surfboards in the Slingshot lineup for this season. Uh, they have the Impact, which is kind of their big wave, real top to bottom surfing, stuff you see Ben Wilson doing. And then the Sci-Fly at the other end is their strapless um, freestyle board. Uh, so this is kind of their fish outline, sits right in the middle. This is gonna be a great board for 80, 90% of the kite surfers out there. So I've had a chance to get some great rides in on this board i'm excited to sh um, share with you all of my feedback that i can give you guys and hope that'll help you decide whether this would be a great kite surfboard for you uh, starting off with some of the design features uh, right away you can see just a full corduroy deck here makes it really comfortable and very enjoyable for long sessions on the water you can throw some wax on there for extra grip but i didn't feel like it was necessary uh, it's got an insert pack front and back i've done it with straps so if you want to do jumps, not have to worry about trying to keep the board on, it works great. If you're transitioning from a twin tip to a surfboard and you'll feel more comfortable, you can do that. Uh, currently, I've just been riding it with no straps just for that pure surfboard feeling. Uh, a nice little bit of kick here in the back, which is uh, great to be able to put your foot all the way back and feel the back end of this board. Uh, the shape, as you can see, is very much of a fish outline with the wide point forward, and that's gonna give you that drive and that speed that you need in those uh, flatter, mushier conditions. Uh, nose pulls in nice and tight here, so the nose doesn't get really hung up when I'm doing like a really tight jive to come back into the wave. I've never stuffed or buried the nose. Plenty of rocker up there too as well, which is gonna make it more playful and maneuverable. Flat in the middle, I would say, and then a little bit of flip up here in the tail. Just gonna make that board overall just maneuverable and enjoyable to ride. Uh, lastly here on top is they put this 3k carbon patch in the back part the heel heel part of the board and this is just going to protect the board because you put a lot of load and pressure on this board while kite surfing and that just saves the rails so really nice something they do on a lot of surfboards talking about the base here they have this carbon cloth here that's going to add stiffness rigidity in the board surfboard kite surfboards need to be uh, withstand a lot more abuse than just standard surfing they're going a lot faster there's a lot of pressure to load into them uh, there's just a lot more abuse that's going to go into this board so they have to make these boards extra tough uh, fcs2 fin boxes it comes with a set of cheap inexpensive reactor fins i never used them maybe just use them for backup uh, they're just not the best. You want to upgrade to some nice performance fins. You can also, like I did here, put some grub screws in. And if you have a nice set of some honeycomb FCS1 fins, you can throw those in and that works great here as well. Uh, the tail in the back is kind of a double swallow here. And it has a lot of bite and a lot of hold. And that's what they're talking about on their uh, website. And I noticed that, that it really does, when you're trying to engage the rail through some real mushy, kind of chaotic water conditions, it holds really well. And I like that. But at the same time, the, the tail block is wide enough that it creates that speed and the lift to make it playful. So they've really done a great job, Slingshot, of balancing this tail to make it kind of tick all the boxes of what you want it to do. Uh, yeah, and then kind of this fish little tail here in the back just to kind of free up the tail as well. So yeah, it's kind of a general overview of the board. Yeah, it's a super sick board. Definitely, definitely feels nice under the arm. This is the 5.2, uh, the smallest one in their lineup, you know, 5.4, 5.6, 5.8. Uh, 22 liters in volume, which is pretty good for me. I usually 21, 23 liters in volume. So uh, definitely enough float with a kite to make it feel like you're actually surfing with the kite. Uh, durability wise, it has held up really well. I beat it up pretty bad. I've been riding a lot of beach breaks really close to shore. Boards gotten shot up way up onto the beach and no damage, no tears, no gouges, um, no chips or anything like that. The only thing I've done is I crashed once and I put my knee right up here and I just put a little divot in there, but that's just gonna happen with all surfboards. So durability is great as always with Slingshot. Uh, yeah, and then just real quickly, just my feedback on riding. I've been riding uh, mostly this, this board in Florida, one to four foot uh, waves and it does awesome. It works really good. Um, firstly, it gets you upwind such an important aspect with a kite surfboard because you'll ride waves, you end up downwind, 
you, unless you're doing a downwinder, you got to work your way back up. And I was just impressed by how well it goes upwind, not only on heel side, but a lot of times I'll stay on my toe side uh, rail when I'm riding. So I'm setting myself up for a wave potentially. And I was actually going up wind on my toe side, which for me, I just seem to never really do a good job of that. So that was really cool that I can get up wind. Uh, as far as I'm going to add one more thing to that is that the fin options make a difference in that. So I've ran it as a twin and a quad, and those are great ways to get the board upwind a little bit better than putting in a center fin because you, re re you remove the drag in the surfboard by doing that. Uh, my personal favorite was uh, the twin plus the trailer here. I like that loose feeling, and that's how I do in my surfboards, but which is that small trailer, it just gives you enough bite. Quad worked uh, well, thruster was a little tight for me for small waves, but it's nice that you can try different fin options to kind of suit your needs and suit your style of what you want to do. Uh, and then uh, getting up wind and then, for, and then riding waves. This board is just so much fun to ride on because it's playful, especially in small waves that are just, you know, kind of crumbling over and kind of flat and mushy. You can kind of hop and pump the board and then put some toe side, heel side turns in. And then when the wave starts to really crank up, you can just kind of load this rail in and the tail and it holds really well. You just do whatever you can do on a wave and it just, it does what you want it to do, which is really nice especially in this size. The 5.2 I feel like is a great size for that. The smaller, more compact, the tighter of a turn you can do with a board. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's see, jumping wise, I've uh, done a little bit of jumping off some ramps. It definitely can stick to your feet nice. Uh, the landings are great. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not like the Sci-Fly where it's meant for that, but you can totally do, you know, beginner moves in the air with a board. Uh, okay, let's talk about vibration. So riding this board in the ocean at faster speeds, you're gonna get a lot of feedback from the water to your board and through your legs. And the, the XR construction with the bamboo um, patch they put in here with the carbon stringer, it comes together really nicely in that it, it dampens a lot of those vibrations. So it's very comfortable. It's not very jarring on your body. Uh, and at the same time and landings too, I feel like there's just kind of that nice, you know, it's got a little bit of flex to it when you do land. And so overall, the feedback is really positive. There's no sense of like, you're getting chattered off the board at all, which is super sweet to be able to spend a lot of time out there kite surfing, not get beat up by your board. Really, I would say this would be a great board for someone who has been on a twin tip and they want to get on a surfboard. I feel like this is very user friendly it is gonna uh, do great for those people who also have had um, surfboards that they've used for kiting. Like myself, I've used a LibTech Short Round, which is a, a surfboard, but I've used it for kiting, it's worked great. But those people that have had those boards that wanna get a really nice kite surfboard that is designed by someone like Ben Wilson, the team at Slingshot Kites, that design a board specifically for kiting, it's gonna change your riding tremendously. My riding has already begun to improve more and it inspires me to get out and do more kite surfing because it's a board that's designed to be ridden with a kite, but yet you still feel like you're actually just surfing. So super rad board, I'm really excited on it. I think this is gonna suit a lot of riders out there. I highly recommend it. It is super awesome. So. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, hit me in the comments down below. I can answer those for you on this board. Uh, anything like specific that I didn't cover, let me know. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I just want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.